So I'm joined by Bibi Sara Asaubayeva for the second day in a row. You've just defeated Bella Khotenasvili, a very, very stunning performance. Uh, tell us a bit about the game. And uh, were you surprised in the opening when she played Queen C7 in this Grunfeld? Um, yes, a little bit. I don't play this variation since I was 10, maybe. Uh, and I think Queen C7 is not a very good move because after Bishop F4, if she played E5, I exchange all pieces on E5, then I played Bishop D5, and they have F4, and I G3, E5, and very initiative position. And uh, after Queen E5, okay, she can play Queen E5 uh, immediately without Bishop F4. And I think I have advantage, uh, and after Queen e3, the position is not very comfortable for her. Maybe she need to play a6 instead, uh, cd instead of a6 and play uh, the end game. Um, then I, okay, I sacrifice a pawn on a2, but I have a very dangerous attack and in some moment I win a queen and have technical position. That's the position I wanted to talk about with you because, of course, you won the queen the game was technically won, and you brought it back home very nicely. But Bela saved the game yesterday also, when her opponent went for the queen instead of playing for the attack, and she actually saved the game. Were you worried this would happen today, or did you feel confident? Yes, a little. You saw what? Happened. Yes, uh, I saw yesterday game, and I was a little bit uh, nervous about this because. I thought <laughs> if it would be second day in a row, it would be fantastic for her. Uh, but, uh, okay, she played very nice move C3. Um, and, but I think I have a more winning position than my opponent yesterday. Completely, completely, uh, I agree with you. I wanted to ask you about a move that uh, the computer was suggesting. I wouldn't have seen it for sure, but I wanted to see if you uh, had seen it and take your opinion on it. Instead of going bishop a4 to trap the queen, the computer was suggesting rook to f4 to swing the rook over to h4 and the queen to h3 and then go for a direct attack on the king. Did you consider this possibility? Uh, yes, I saw this and I think I have also winning position, but I just need to something more... Um, concrete. Yeah. More concrete for me, yes. I uh, try to calculate some variation about f6, e takes, e takes, king h8, queen h6, rook g8, rook f4, and my, uh, I want to play queen h7. Seven. Yes, but uh, for some reason this not happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, so and you decided to play it safe yes. on the other side? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's two wins in a row. And tomorrow you're facing uh, Olivia Kiolbasa, who isn't having the best of tournaments, but today she did do a draw with uh, Alexander Kostinuk. How are you, are you already thinking about that game or do you want to relax a bit before you start preparing the other game? Yes, I want to relax a little bit. Um, finally, I have 15% and I just want to play chess and see what happened. Okay. I'm asking some of the other players as well. Have you come by yourself here? Do you have family accompanying you, maybe your trainer? Um, how do you relax in the evenings after or in the mornings after the game is played? What other things do you do here? Uh, I come alone here and um, I maybe go to the gym or walking around mm -hmm. and or watch some videos, I don't know. Uh, it uh, depends on my mood. And have you been having a good time outside of the tournament in, here in Cyprus? Yes, I really like the weather and also after the raining. Yesterday was a tough day for us. Yes, but I really like the weather at the evening. I walking maybe one hour. Thank you for coming to talk to us, Bibi Sara, and good luck tomorrow.